Hello, and welcome to another Reaper tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to use effects to make our hi-hat fills stand out. So first you need some MIDI information. So I made this beat earlier uh, up here, and uh, we're going to be using battery as our instrument for that. So uh, I've just been using this 808 kit, pretty standard. There's three instruments here. It's just a kick, a snare, and a hi-hat. So there's our beat. Uh, pretty basic, but let's uh, talk about how to add some more effects to that to make it a little bit cooler. So first thing we're going to need to do is uh, fix the routing in battery or prepare the routing in battery. So if you play through this again, you'll see three instruments pop up. So you got this one here, this one here, and this one here. And all I'm going to do is go to each of these and change the output to direct out. And each one's going to have its own output. So this will be on one and two. This will be on three and four. This will be on five and six. And then if we want to start adding effects on the hi-hat in particular, we're going to click this, hit control C or command C on Mac uh, to copy the cell and just paste it with control V or command V uh, right next to it on either end. And you'll see why in a second. And we're going to have the output for that direct out to seven and eight. Uh, so now, we need to make sure that the routing in Reaper lines up with the routing in our plugin. So we're going to have to make all of this line up. So I've got, uh, I added four tracks here, one for kick, snare, hi-hat, and the hi-hat effects. And uh, if we highlight all these and then hold down shift and drag the routing from the main track over here, we can get all of those really quick. And what we're going to do is we're going to route each of the tracks here so that they line up with, um, actually first we're going to uncheck the master send. We don't need that to be sent into the master anymore. And we're going to make sure that the audio, um, we're going to make sure that the audio sources line up with the outputs from batteries. So the kick is on one and two, the snare is on three and four, so we need to create new channels for these. The hi-hat is on five and six, and the hi-hat effects are on seven and eight. So now if I play this, you'll see that everything is coming through these four tracks here. Well, except for the hi-hat effects, we haven't done that yet. Now one thing that might happen because uh, we're not running through batteries, um, limiter anymore is that we might have to bring the total volume down here just so it doesn't clip like crazy like it is doing right now there we go that's better so now uh we're gonna need to add in uh the effects and the reason that we made a different track for this i'll show you what's gonna happen now we're gonna go back to our midi item and we're gonna find the places where we want to add effects in these fills so I think that's a good place, the little triplet thing. I'm gonna highlight the, the places where I want fills. I'm gonna move them up just a note so that it's going on to that other hi-hat cell that we had in battery, or that other note, essentially. Another instrument maybe in another plugin. And for me, this is basically every uh, two bars, there seems to be a little fill that I made. So there we go. I've got four fill sections. You can see them there. Um, and now that's going to be going to our track four there. So let's see what that looks like now. So now anytime there's going to be effects, we'll see them pop up here. And that's what we want. So now that we've got that, um, we're going to go back into battery and find an effect that we want to use. So I'm going to go to the, uh, we could probably rename this to make it easier. This is going to be hi-hat effects. That way we don't lose it. 
uh, we're going to go to our effects section um, and we can just start playing around with things really, but I know that I'm going to want to use uh, <coughs> this effect I found earlier that I think is really cool. And I'm just going to highlight a, a section and repeat it. Tweak some of these things. Sweet. So just a little like talking effect, but it's a uh, it's cool when you move it around while it's uh, while it's going on. So we find the knob that we need to turn in order to make this happen. And in battery, we write we have to right click and hit enable host automation. That's going to let us actually be able to automate that through Reaper. And uh, make sure this is the last thing you touch. We're going to go back over to Reaper, open up the actions list, which is shift question mark. Um, and we're going to look for last touched effects. And we're going to activate slash bypass track envelope for last touched effects parameter. So that brings this up. We can close battery for now. That brings this envelope uh, or this automation lane up and if we select a certain area, basically you're just going to want to select the place where your fills are, right click and hit insert new automation item. We're going to get this little automation item here. And these are really cool um, because you can adjust these and then I'll show you what happens after that. So we'll play through this and see if we can get uh, dial in what we want. So I'm going pretty drastic there so you can hear it. But uh, basically what we can do now, I know that my next one is here. So we can take this hit control or uh, this would be command on Mac and drag this over here and we'll copy and paste it over there. So now if we play through. Oh, we've got little things happening here. So I'm going to copy this and paste this over here, but this one is a little bit longer, this fill. It actually sounds kind of neat, but <laughs> if we wanted that to cover the entire thing, we can hit Alt, which is Option on Mac, and it'll activate our stretch function, and we can actually stretch that automation. If you hold down Shift while you're doing it, you can stretch it more precisely. Have it ignore snapping. So either way, that was cool. Um, we'll keep it there just for the sake of uh, what we're doing here. Drag one over one over here, and we're going to have to make that longer as well to fit that fill. So now what we've got, we've got all these fills in here. Let's listen to it without to hear the difference. I guess the effects were still technically on, but they weren't being automated. So uh, I think it adds a lot to the to the beat. Um, having those little things in just gives it a little bit more interest on the fills. So now let's say that you have a plugin that doesn't have uh, built-in effects like this. You can still do this, and it's good that we built this out into another track. You can still do this through um, through Reaper's effects. Now let me go in here and actually deactivate this effect so we don't get any residual from that. Great. And so we can go in here, we can add whatever effect we want. I'm just gonna use something really simple. Um, we're just gonna use Reaper's EQ, which is wonderful. And uh, in the same way that we can automate uh, an effect in battery, we can automate anything in here. So I'm just gonna do a little band pass type thing. And in a same, similar way, I'm going to figure out what I want to do. This might need 
a little bit of help to bring the gain up. All right. So now I can uh, bring up the last touched effects parameter, activate that. And uh, to save time, I already made like a little uh, automation preset called dive. So for each of these sections here, I'm just gonna add in that preset. Oh, and that one's it's actually too big. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna copy this over. Uh, and if you need, you can always bring this down so you can see it, uh, see the MIDI item. Sorry, I usually have two, uh, two monitors up, so this is like super close. Close quarters, yeah, stretch it. <laughs> And then I can grab this one, put it over here, stretch it out. So uh, this is what it sounds like with just the, with just Reaper's effects. That, ah, sorry. There's even like a little decrescendo there, is it a, uh as it goes too far down on the EQ for it to be heard anymore. So there's more to be done with that effect for sure, but just as a quick way of showing uh, that you can do this outside of the plugin as well. Um, so that's a cool way that uh, you can basically apply that to anything. So if you have any effect that you wanna use, you can automate it that way. Uh, makes it really cool, easy way to, to add some, some flair to your beats. Uh, so, yeah, take a take some time, mess around with this. It's a cool technique to have uh, in your belt, um, so things just don't get too dry and stagnant. But thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to this channel for more helpful tips on using Reaper in your day-to-day -day audio life. <laughs>